I'm gonna share my favorite Canvas tips with you today, many of which a lot of teachers don't know about. I'm gonna save my favorite one until the very end, but I've got a good one to start off with, and that's the copy to feature. This allows you to take a page, an announcement, or anything, and just drop it right into another class. Okay, so for example, this is my how to contact your instructor page, and it is the same in all of my classes. If I go back to where it lived in modules, I don't even need to open it up to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and find it, and then click on the three dots over on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna choose copy to. This is such an amazing feature. And then I'm gonna choose the class that I wanna copy it into. I wanna put it into one of my math classes, and I wanna drop it right into this class right here. And I can even say where I want it to be. I want it to be in the welcome, maybe after. I mean, it's so great, right? So I guess after start here and then copy. It will take just a few minutes for it to populate in your other class, but it will be there. One of my favorite uses for this are announcements that I wanna to give to all of my classes. So say that I'm gonna be gone, I can do the same thing with an announcement. Let me grab an old announcement here. It's a little bit different for announcements though. I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of my announcements and then I'll click on the three dots and there is my copy to feature, such an amazing time saver. This next one is page version history, and it has saved my butt so many times. I'm gonna go ahead and show you with my home page, but it works on any of your pages. If you find your page and then click on the three dots, you can choose view page history, and it brings up, oh my gosh, look at how many times I edited this. It will bring up all of your previous edits. So if you accidentally changed something and saved it, you can easily go back to one of your previous versions. The next two tips live in the gradebook and they're huge time savers. I'm gonna to go to grades and I'm gonna show you how to do automatic zeros. I'm gonna click on the gear and under light policies, I want you to check this box that says automatically apply grade for missing submissions and I'm gonna apply a grade of zero. The default grade is just to give a little slash. Let me give you an example. Oh, then hit apply settings. The default is to just give this little slash right here, which does not count it at all towards their grade, meaning you've got to go through and manually change all of those. The next one is default grades or batch grading. Again, huge, massive time saver. And I'm gonna use it on this discussion board where they're sharing their favorite pets, just a community building one. So I'm gonna first change any missing assignments to zero since I did not have that grade posting policy set. Change that one to zero as well. And because this is just a fun discussion board, I wanna give everybody the five points. I'm gonna hover on the top here and then look for those three dots, click on the three three dots and you want to go set default grade and I want to give everybody five out of five but I'm not going to overwrite those already existing grades this is why I put the zeros in first let's go ahead and click set default grade and the magic happens all 30 of those scores have been updated I'll go ahead and click OK now I wanna talk about assignments for a little bit. Let me go back to uh, my modules. All of my assignments are grouped into my modules. And you can see that I've got everything set to be due on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but it can be a pain when I go from one quarter to the next because the next quarter they'll all be due on whatever days. There are two really easy ways to update your dates instead of going into each of the assignments individually. One of them is through the calendar. So let's click on that calendar and I'm gonna make sure that just this class is appearing. So I've got this class chosen and let's say that I wanted to change one of our upcoming due dates. I'm just gonna move over here into May and I can see that I've got all of this stuff due on Friday the 23rd, which I don't want. So instead, I wanna bring this 8A to be due on Monday. I'm just clicking, holding and dragging, amazing. The 8B is gonna be due on Wednesday, and then I can leave that hypothesis testing challenge um, to be due on Friday. Now the thing that it won't do is it won't let you move one where you've got a locked date. And the locked date that I have on here is my um, until date. So instead you can do batch grading, which is also another amazing way to update these grades. Let me go back to my class. 
I'm gonna go into assignments for this one. I've got assignments right here. And to get to the batch grading, you're gonna click the three dots in the upper right hand corner. You're gonna choose edit assignment dates. And there's a couple of different things that you can do with this. You can go through and change the dates individually, but it's nice to have them all in one view still kind of a pain. You can also look for a specific date range that you wanna change. But my favorite tool here is the batch edit, especially as I'm going from one quarter to the next. So I try and remember to adjust my due dates, but it doesn't always work perfectly or sometimes I forget. Batch edit will save you. Um, you can start by selecting all of your assignments or you can select a date range. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on all assignments and then I'm gonna choose batch edit. And it says, how do you wanna shift these? dates. And if you're in a new quarter, you can figure out how many days you need to adjust this by click that and then click OK, and it will update all of those dates. I've got two left and these last two have to do with messaging students, but one lives in the gradebook. Let's go ahead and go into the gradebook. Remember we had two students that didn't do this pets or favorite show discussion board. I wanna message them and let them know that that stays open until Monday. To do that, I'm gonna click those three dots. Again, I'm hovering on the top of this column. I'm gonna click the three dots and I'm gonna choose message students who have not yet submitted. They're the two students. You can also click to show the recipients and then X out any recipients that you don't want. And then you can say still time for this assignment. And then your message goes right here, click send, and they will get individual messages. Okay, we're finally to the last tip, and this one is in your inbox. I'm gonna click on that inbox, and I can set out of office replies. And that happens up here in settings. So I'm gonna click settings, and then it says I want that response on, and I can set this up for summer right now, even though I don't actually know when summer starts. Let's say it starts on the 23rd, and I am off until, again, I have no idea, I'm just making stuff up here, and I'm off until like whenever, the 8th, um, out of the office and then I can just change this to I'm out of office for summer break um, which begins blah 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 you can change this however you want and whenever a student contacts you through the inbox they will get this message so what tips did I miss share your favorite canvas tips in the comments down below subscribe for more videos like the one I've got for you next